Zachary uh, James Miller. Uh, we meet you here in the Cannes Festival. We must, we, we need to know who are you and what do you do here. Okay, well, I'm a film and television pro producer, director, writer. Uh, I come every year, I've been coming, this is actually my 30th year. Okay. Coming to the Cannes Film Festival in Market. And uh, basically we come here either to sell our projects or to find partners to make our projects. So right now I have uh, four, uh, well three film projects, one uh, limited TV series that we're working on. And we're working with different countries, we're doing post-production in Belgium, so I met with some Belgian partners. Uh, we'll be shooting in Greece, so I met with Greek partners. And basically it's just making deals and doing business and uh, meeting up with friends. Okay, uh, some people tell me that you are uh, the representation in legal in France, the, the, the Barack Obama, the I was a yeah. Role, okay, a spokesperson yeah. for the Obama campaign, both campaigns. I've been uh, very active in uh, U.S. Democratic politics. So uh, when uh, Barack Obama first chose to run, I uh, I I was also an elected official in Democrats abroad. So I chose to support him uh, uh, just a couple weeks after he uh, entered, his, entered the campaign. And so I worked with his campaign and I organized the campaign in France among Americans. And all the Americans voting in France, the vast majority of Americans living in Europe, actually, not only in France, uh, voted for uh, Barack Obama. And that helped him become the Democratic candidate and also become the president. So we have a lot of Americans living abroad, yeah. but they're all uh, eligible to vote. Okay, what is the link uh, uh, to the politics and the uh, movie? Uh, uh, well, I've always been interested in politics. Mm. Uh, my family has a long history in politics. Yeah. My uh, cousin, Sam Young Jr., was the first student killed in the Civil Rights Movement. And uh, uh, Martin Luther King uh, wrote a letter from his jail cell at the time about uh, the assassination of my cousin, who was uh, killed for uh, using a white restroom in a gas station in Tuskegee, Alabama. So there's a long history of politics and political activism in my family. And a lot of the things I do, whether it's a documentary or a feature film, often have uh, some sort of political involvement. Okay, uh, so uh, can you believe to the best future of cinema in the world? Well, cinema is always changing and evolving. Uh, right now it's going more towards streaming. Yeah. We have a lot more films online. Mm -hmm. uh, people watch TV series in a large number of episodes rather than one at a time. And I think the, 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 the future of cinema is going more in that direction. But it's also going in the direction of uh, virtual reality. Okay. That's something relatively new, but having an experience oh, in a VR kind of environment is really interesting. And I've gotten more and more interested in VR and uh, Oculus. And Facebook actually is promoting uh, VR films. There's a very important VR film called uh, Traveling While Black okay. that was uh, done by a director uh, that I know and it is in the VR environment. You put on the headset and you're inside the actual film. And that's kind of exciting. A lot of people, most people haven't been exposed to it yet, but it is a really an exciting new development in film. Okay, so uh, in Africa, the film, the industry of uh, cinema is uh, down, is not uh, open since now. Do you think to invest one day to Africa cinema? Mm -hmm. I have friends that are investing in African cinema. Uh, I think there's a huge future for African cinema, uh, for independent cinema in general. But because we can make films now, using less expensive equipment mm -hmm. and we can distribute online uh, that opens the film world up a lot more uh, for too long we've been too dependent on the big distribution companies mm -hmm. and that's the one thing that's changing we can self-distribute more easily and we can also uh, uh, you know get our products and our ideas to the world uh, much 
quicker and easier than we ever could before. And I think uh, people I know that are working in Africa are utilizing these methods, and that'll be tremendously helpful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.